It's a point of peace in the Highlands. Lee Johnston has come crashing down to our fear with a 1-1 draw against Ross County. And I'm seeing articles here that Hibs will be happy with the point. That's not exactly setting your ambitions very high. But you know what? For Ross County, it's moved them from rock bottom up into ninth place. But that's because it was four teams all tied on 20 points. But in terms of this game... It was, a, it was a pretty dire watch. I mean, literally all those shots that you're seeing there. Wait, so there's 23 shots in total. Literally, I'd say about half of them came in the first 15 minutes when it was just block shot after block shot after block shot after block shot. It was insane how many block shots there was. Um, Hibs and Ross County, literally the only two teams doing business late on in this transfer window, which is weird considering they were both playing. But then again, they've got to get it done. The window does close in just over two hours' time. We did see the likes of Murray come on for County, of course, top, uh, Queen's Park's top goal scorer. Didn't see any Hibs players come on, but, you know, in terms of chances in that first half, there wasn't an awful lot for both sides, like clear-cut chances. But when Hibs got their chance, it's a ball played over the top, the Ross County defender, what, what, what's he fucking doing? He tries to header it and he completely misses it. And Johan puts it past laid low into the back of the net. Nutmegs him. Good night. Lovely finish. And you're thinking at this point, Ross County are going to slip to a defeat. And it, it just shows you, like, all of a sudden, Hibs, who El Sacchio is the last game and now it's El Keepy in the Jobio because... He's doing a, he was doing, he's doing a good job. Pumped Aberdeen 6 0 on the verge of an away victory in Dingwall. But then, as we go into the second half, Ross County just keep on pushing. McCurdy, by the way, came on for an injured Nisbet as well. Uh, Nisbet, of course, linked with Mega Moves away. I'll say Mega Moves, not exactly. Like Millwall's the, the greatest thing of all time, but that fell through. Wigan did come in for a, a deadline day bid, but that has been rejected. And then Nisbet's been doing injured. And I've seen Hibs fans bragging on Twitter, oh, look, look, you were all burying Nisbet when we signed them at the time, but we're making a 900% transfer profit on him. Well, they're making hee-haw on him now. Like, that's him injured. <laughs> Who knows how long for? I doubt it's going to be. For, it didn't look as bad, obviously, as the other one that he had. They basically capped him out for a year. But at the same time, it's not good seeing the guy pick up an injury. But we're going to the second half. McCurdy, there's so many, like, just cheap ass decisions that the referee's given here. I mean, we've come to expect it now. You know, it's just fucking shite. And I can actually see both sides of opinions because players were going down far too easy. There were so many soft yellows given in that second half. McCurdy, there was an instance where he's closing the Ross County guy down, I can't remember who it was, and he just falls so easily and the ref, like, stops it. McCurdy can't believe it. Laidlow's getting stuck into McCurdy as well. But Ross County, they equalise straight from a corner. The hand, uh, brilliant this was, I mean... There is a uh, question marks on if whether or not Davy Marshall was filed. I mean, they do kind of run into him, but <clears throat> you need your goalie to be <coughs> strong in those situations. And he wasn't now. Did both of them bang into him? And does that cause Marshall for getting it? It's debatable. Like, the ball still could have went over him, like, you know, because he's contestant with those two. But it went to VAR, and to be honest, I'm surprised they didn't overturn it. They didn't overturn it. The Hibs players are surprised as well. They're fucking raging, actually. It didn't get overturned. And then that was literally it. It was a few more tackles that went in the hand. I was almost grabbing the throat of Campbell from Hibs. And then, yeah, it's it, it ended at a point apiece. Hibs remain in uh, fifth place, a point behind Levy. But, I mean, I mean, they've played two games more than Livingston, which is a pretty big amount. You've also got the likes of uh, Ross County, like I said, massive for them because it's moved them straight up to uh, ninth place. <laughs> And uh, you know what? I'd probably say on the reflection of the game, I'd say a, a point is uh, fair. But that's it, guys, for this video. Of course, tomorrow we have a full set of fixtures all quarter day eight kickoffs. We'll see what new signings there is in. But in terms of deadline day, of course, Rangers have signed Rask in there. It's confirmation on Murray, who did come on during that game. Dundee and I are going to see three million uh, of the Suter deal. Hibs signed American striker Hopi. Hopi. Happy bye. Uh, St. Mirren signed Small on loan. And that is literally it, man. There's a 
literally it. I mean, St. Johnson signed Sack Rodden, but I believe I mentioned that earlier. And also Ollie Shaw and Lafferty left, but I can't have already mentioned that. Well, Giamakis, though, looks like it's going to be the shocker of the day because no one expected him to stay throughout this window. But I guess the closer it did get to the end, we kind of thought, well, I mean, if no one's going to come in, he's going to have to stay. But yeah, Celtic have already kind of replaced him with O. So yeah, G. Mack is going to get even less time at Celtic by the looks of it. But anyway, guys, until next time, leave your thoughts down below and peace.